Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for all that you have given us. Lord, we thank you for the joining of this young couple here. As we are here today celebrating this marriage, Lord, we also see a picture of your love for us. We see how you loved for us and you died for us. Lord, may they love each other the way they love you. Kenzie, Ethan, I love the fact that you wanted to display your love to the Lord by using the cord of three strands. It symbolizes the joining of one man and one woman and God in marriage. By keeping the Lord at the center of their relationship, the couple believes their love will continue to grow and bind them together. We're watching you from above. And they're always with you. Right? I love you. Love you. But when Kenzie came into Ethan's life, we were sitting at the lunch table and Ethan told me about it. And he told me she was she was different. She wasn't like all the other ones. And he said that this might be the one. Ever since that day, he ain't wavered. Three. Two, one. I've been alive for 7,320 days. Without a doubt, today is my favorite. If you're hoping I grow up one day, I'm sorry if I never will. I will do. I promise to always take care of you and do my best to make you laugh. Even through the hard days, we can barely stand to look at each other, no matter what I'll suffer. When I first met you on April 2nd, 2020, I had no idea just how in love I would be with you. God truly sent you to me during the hardest time of my life. You never failed to remain right by my side through every bit of it. Through these last four years, we have had a lot of growing up together. We have shared a lot of ups and downs, cries and laughs, good and bad times. There's no one else I'd rather go through every bit of this crazy life with. As we begin our journey as our own family, we will create a home filled with learning, laughter, compassion, as well as the Lord above all else. Today I choose you to be my husband and my forever partner. care for you, stand beside you, and share with you all of life's adversities and all of its joys from this day forward and all of the days of my life. I promise to always be your best friend, your biggest fan, and to always listen and compromise as we go through this journey together. I promise to learn and grow with you and embrace change as it comes. I promise to wake up every day and choose you, to celebrate you, and to love you without end. Ethan Michael, I promise to give you the best of myself, keep myself open to you, and grow alongside you no matter what we face. I have loved you since I was 15, and that will never change. You and I both know how indecisive I can be, but if there is one thing I'm sure of, it's spending forever with you.
Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her to make her holy, cleansing her with the washing of water by the word. He did this to present the church to itself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or anything like that, but holy and blameless. In the same way, husbands are to love their wives as their own body. He who loves his wife loves himself. No one hates his own flesh, but provides for it and cares for it. Just as Christ does the church, since we are members of his body, for this reason, a man will leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. The same way you submit, Kenzie, to Christ and his lordship and his direction, you are now, when you are conjoined with Ethan, will do the same to him. He will be the head of the household. Because the husband is to love his wife as Christ loved the church. Now there's three ways that Christ loved the church. First is he died for her. You are to be the protector, the provider for your household. Secondly, he humbled himself for her. He emptied himself and becoming the form of a servant to die for the church. Thirdly, he loved the church unconditionally. There's going to be faults and there's going to be failures. There's going to be times of heartache during this marriage. It isn't a 50-50. It is a 100-100. You are to give her 100% and you're to give him 100%. Even when they don't seem like they deserve it, you're still to love them unconditionally. I, Kenzie, take you, Ethan. I, Ethan, take you, Kenzie. To be my wife. Be my wife. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ethan, you can kiss your bride. It is my honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Ethan Hall. I had a dream so big and loud, I jumped so high, I touched a cloud. I haven't known Ethan for long, but I've got to see their relationship grow just by seeing the way he looks at her and adores her. I know that he is the one made for KP. It's always been a blessing to be a part of this wedding and to see how their relationship has grown. I'm so happy to see them get to spend the rest of their life together and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for them.